G'day, welcome back to uh, Dad vs. Son. We're playing Combat Commander Europe, uh, the scenario Silent Death, and this is our third video, but basically the second turn of the game. Well, can't call it turn because, yeah, okay, we can call it turns because it's a time track, not a turn track. It is the Finns go. They've got six new cards. The Russians have got four new cards following their last turns. So let's see what the Finns have got. And they have a Route Assault Fire, an Advance, a Command Confusion Light Wounds, a Move Crossfire, a Tiller Request Hidden Mines, which is totally useless, and a Fire Command Confusion. Right. So. Um, I was hoping... For a recover as well just to uh, take care of this poor fellow so what I think we might do to start with is oh that makes it difficult okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the advance and what I'm going to do with the advance is I don't want to move this CC unit straight in here by himself because that will only give him a plus one advantage. At the moment, I have no ambush and I don't know what the Russians have got. So I'm still going to do the, um, the advance, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these units forward and this unit forward like that. And that way, if I get another advance, I can take this place out. Or if we get a time and I have a dig in or whatever else, I can always use the Molotovs to start some fires going in these buildings. Rightio? So that's the first one. Second action. What do we want to do? So we have a move and we have a fire. <laughs> what to do? Um, okay. I think, and therefore I am. Right. Up. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use the fire action. Uh, this fire action with command confusion and I'm going to use it with I'm going to activate the sergeant here and we're going to lay fire into the corporal here I want to break this command string so that um, we can move in relatively uh, unchecked and the only way he's going to be able to uh, do anything then is to bring up either the corporal or move the captain. So that will start to, again, divide and conquer them. Okay, so he's going to nominate this CC unit as the primary. So this is going to be 5 plus 2 is 7. Um, this unit can't fire. This unit should be able to surely can okay so we have seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four so we have twelve coming in here without anything else at the moment okay so twelve <laughs> and we needed it plus four Okay, so we have 16 coming into the corporal here. Let's see what they have. Okay, place foxholes in a non-building hex in which your opponent is fired. Well, there is no non-building hex that we're firing into. Move light wounds, so the light wounds may come in handy for them. Move light wounds, which light wounds might come in handy for them. And hidden entrenchments, again, place foxholes in a non-building hex so um, no at the moment nothing 
So the first one will do some militia. So we have 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 6 is 17 which is safe. And then we have Corporal Krylov who is 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 9 is 19 and is safe. So good on him. But not that good. Didn't like it at all. Righto. So next thing we're going to do is we are going to use our move action. That's our, sorry, move order. That's our third order. And of course, we're going to utilize it here. So the first one that's going to move is going to be this CC unit here. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Uh, so yeah, we've activated the lieutenant and he is in the um, command radius. So he goes one, and the LMG could fire if he wants to. Uh, that's the only thing that could fire. And they've got artillery, move, move, artillery. So they have nothing to shoot with. So he goes one, two, three, four, five. Right up there, because he's a bastard. Then this one goes one, two, three, four, five up here as well. The LMG will go one, two, three, four, five, six to here along with the lieutenant, does the same. This guy will go one, two, three, four. This one will go one, two. And this one was out of command radius, so he will not move. Okay, so that's three of their four orders. Um, they have nobody to route. They have nothing else. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get rid of this card here. And that gives us four new cards for the Finns. And it is now the Russians' turn. And the Russians, as we said, had two artilleries and two moves. And they can replace three cards a turn. Now... There's not much else they can do. Um, I don't know if they really want to move anything at the moment. I suppose they could move the... Let's have a look here. They could move Corporal Gordov and his people. But if these ones get into these houses here, then this is going to be perfect for the mortar and his... One, two, three, four, and his rifle to lay fire here. So I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to move the captain at all at the moment because he's going to be basically on the front line as these lot come in. So, no, I think what we will do... Mm -mm 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 is we're going to get rid of the two artillery requests and we're going to get rid of one of the move actions and that's their turn. One, two, three. What are we at? Under nine minutes. Okay, we'll keep going. So the Finns were left with a route, assault fire and a command confusion light wind, uh, light winds, light wounds. They have another command confusion, light wounds, a recover spray fire, a move crossfire, and a totally useless card. Okay. We don't have anything to shoot with. Other than an assault fire. So if we nominate them to move, and then we can shoot with boxed firepower and all of our pieces basically have boxed firepower. So why don't we do that? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the recover action, uh, recover order for our CC unit up here. So he is nine 
plus one for cover, minus one for road is nine. And he does seven, which is good, except we have an event. And the event is breeze. But we have no smoke and we have no blazes yet, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So he is recovered. Whoop. And he's jumping on the Russians, because he's just that kind of guy. Okay. So who do we nominate to move? Okay, so we are going to nominate to move. We're going to activate Lieutenant Visconti here. So that will give us all of these units nominated to move. And as they are nominated to move, we're going to make an assault fire. Make one fire attack with any number of your units, weapons with box firepower that are currently activated to move. Okay, so one attack so we can only take out one booger so realistically i'd like to do more than one attack but this is the only place where we are likely to take somebody out and again we're not going to um, fully destroy them because it's only the one attack okay so what we have is the lieutenant will activate this CC unit here. So we have 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 1 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Plus 1 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Into there. So we have 14 plus 7 is 21 today. And we have a uh, an event which is blaze. Uh, so blaze in a random hex. Okay, and the random hex is A7. Um, A7 is an open hex which under the um, rules... Da -da -da -da. Where does it say it? Sorry. I thought they said it somewhere. Maybe the unit must be removed. Da, 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 da. Eliminated. I am going crazy. I was sure there was a... I read a rule that said... Ah, bingo. Severe winter. Open ground hexes are considered impassable for blazes. So therefore, no. There's no blaze. Okay, so we're simply shooting at this militia unit here for 21 points. And he is currently 7 plus 3 is 10. Um, there is a light wound so you could use. Uh, place wire into a hex in which a unit just moved. Well, I haven't moved yet. They have an advance, sustained fire, and they have a dig in. So... What they're going to do is they're going to have a look, and this is 10 plus 6, and they're going to remove this militia, uh, play the light wounds, and we're going to give them a line team. Uh, Russians. Russians, Russians, Russians. Okay. So now they have a line team instead. Okay, so they've played that. Um, righto, so it didn't achieve a great deal, but it did something. Righto, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of this card. So that's four cards again for the fins. And now it is... The Ruskies turn, and like we said, they have a hidden wire. Oh, sorry, I didn't move. I've got to move. I said I was going to move. So we go one, and they can shoot if they want. They have artillery advance, so they don't have anything to shoot with. They do have the hidden wire that they can use. Go one, 
we go one and they decide to put some wire there because they can and it just helps to reduce these people's attacks and defense okay so that's their hidden wire game okay so now it's the russian turn and they have advance and that's it so do they want to use an advance and the answer is no they can't really um the corporal here has only got command radius to these units um, and that would mean this one advances into here by itself which not a very good idea um, so the advance is no good um, I could get this unit to advance into here or this unit to advance into here and look they, they may be lucky because it's basically going to be a five against a six the same here or a five against a six here um, or again the same thing over here five against a six five against a six so we could try it um, it's it's it would be certainly worth a try from the Russian point of view um, but then we're leaving ourselves well, we're leaving ourselves open, but I, I don't think we're leaving ourselves that open. So we're going to try it. Um, who are we going to try it on? Okay, we're going to try it up here, because that way at least he's going into the trees, which means he'll have some cover. Okay, so this militia unit advances into the trees to attack in melee the CC unit. Um, the Russians have no ambushes and the um, Finns have no ambushes. So it's simply six to five. So we'll look at the Finns first. And they have a whole three. So they have nine. And the Russians have lots and, like I said, there was always the chance they could win it. And they did. Well done. So they've now knocked out two of my squads for another two points. Oh, that's a long stretch. So they're now up to 24, uh, 34. They've also removed two of my Molotov cocktails, which makes it harder to set fires to buildings. And that is all that they can do so they get one two three and it is the uh, Finn's turn so I think um, what are we 18 minutes dun, dun, dun. I might stop there and uh, come back I think that's probably probably long enough okay so again Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying and uh, I will catch you soon. Bye for now.